Huey. What a beautiful, beautiful morning to ride. Uh-oh. Rolling into a truck. Welcome to the Pinnacles here in Berea, Kentucky. Well, we're currently at, ooh, look at that hair. Nice. Well, anyways, we're currently at the uh, Indian Ford Theater. This used to be like a big old thing. People used to do things here all the time, but now they don't. But I've been coming out here a couple times, a couple times a week. It's just a short little bike ride, uh, but trying to get back into being healthy and exercising on a regular basis and eating good food on a regular basis. And so this is part of that. It's good to make that a part of uh, the routine and I've been working through that. It's been, uh, been interesting. Now I'm gonna be late for uh, our staff meeting, which starts in uh, 45 minutes. And I still got like a 15 minute bike ride and 30 minute travel time. Let's see if uh, I'm gonna make it. Got ready in about 15 minutes, got back right at 8.30. Now it's time for this drive. Now I've made this drive in about 15 minutes before. Uh, we'll see. thing about this commute, well, well, there's many good things, but one solid thing about this commute is I listened to the briefing, briefing by Albert, Albert Moeller. Moeller. Al Moeller, he's the president of Southern Seminary. He gives a, what do you, what does he call it? A daily analysis of news and events from a Christian okay, worldview. Yeah, um, and I think it's just super solid to get that Christian worldview. I don't watch the news. I don't really keep in touch with the news too much, but I, I think there is a lot of negative news media that's put out there. And I've listen from some some people specifically Darren Hardy who has some good things to say about about the news but yeah I think this is a good opportunity for that here's a little here's a little taste of the briefing from today if you don't listen to this on a regular basis I would highly recommend checking it out Every dictator throughout history has understood a very basic lesson if you can change the language then you can change the entire society that is exactly what's going on with the LGBTQ revolution and demands about a change in language are never merely about language. They point to a more fundamental and often more lasting shift in the culture and moral meaning. Well, I made it, just like seven minutes late, but some other people just arrived just now, so. <laughs> Time to go in. 